<laughs> All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Janet. Thank you so much for being our featured special Lunar Ladies VIP of the month. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for joining us and Lunar Ladies to share your amazing soul gifts, skills, and talents. Um, I'm just going to close this. I keep seeing us in the background, so I'm just to see you. Okay. All right. Now I'm ready. Here we go. Let's rock and roll. So welcome everyone to our, our monthly uh, featured guest, Janet Nixick of Soulmate of Self and Consciously Flow and many other wonderful things, Abundance Reiki as well. So some of you know Janet and maybe in her circle, maybe in her Soulmate of Self uh, healing circle where we take that deep dive with a goddess this year every month it's so exciting um and so janet is also a lovely lunar ladies vip club member and uh, a very favorite client and a very close and dear podmate of my heart and soul <laughs> so welcome janet thank you for being here on the crescent moon Thank you for having me um, on, the, on this special moon time here. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're new to our activations that Janet is blessing us with every crescent moon, I just want to give a little background as to why Janet and I have chosen the crescent moon for her to come in and share with us her gifts and her blessings. That is that Janet uh, knows the natal phase that she was born under. She was born under a crescent moon in Libra, dancer's moon. She is a Virgo sun. <laughs> Yay! She's about to have a birthday. Happy early birthday! <laughs> so Janet knows that when she taps into her innate skill set, her, her soul's vibration, <clears throat> her divine feminine nature, and her divine feminine powers, she comes most alive on her natal moon phase, which is the crescent moon. And so Janet and I got together and we, and we got dreamed of this really awesome uh, experience every month. So now Janet comes in to our community in our circle on the crescent moon and she activates our new moon intentions with the current energetic consciously flowing energy. And she helps us go much deeper to embody this energy, too, because I can get you out in the stars, but Janet gets you deep into your cellular embodiment in this lifetime. So we're in a Scorpio crescent moon, which is called the blood moon. So some of us maybe go, ooh, the blood moon, how awesome. And some of us go, ooh, the blood moon, what's that, right? <laughs> no matter where you are in that spectrum, uh, we're going to take you back to your original essence, your primordial vibration, and that is in the menstrual blood. It's in the blood energy, which is sacred, and it's sacral, coming from that Scorpio divine goddess womb. And so crescent moon, just as a reminder, is a time when we are in our new moon week where we're setting our intentions for this lunar cycle, but the crescent moon comes to refine your dreams, your goals, your intentions, your seeds, to really polish them up. What do they need to be super powerful? And so I'm going to hand it over to Janet. She is going to help you supercharge your Virgo new moon intentions. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> Thank you, everyone uh, who's here, who's listening live or or listening on your own time to this recording. So happy to be here. I am loving our time every month. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable, really, really incredible these last several months. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, right? Yeah. Virgo, Libra, now we're in Scorpio. This yeah. is so good. Uh, ah, so, <laughs> um, so I am just beyond super stoked for this one because tuning into this energy before we got, before we gathered today, I was tuning in. I'm like, okay, energy's moving and flowing for everybody right now. All right, we're going deep. Okay. What is this really about? Okay. And now it's really revealing itself even in just in the last several minutes. It's like, oh, that's what we're doing. That's what this is about. This is, this is, I'm so excited to share. <laughs> I'm dying over here. This is so great. <laughs> so, I mean, Literally, and I am bleeding. I am on my menstrual cycle right now. Um, <laughs> Even just better. 
with the red hair right now. So Love we're it. fiery, bloody, mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's just, everything's all in alignment with this. We're going to drop in real deep, real quickly, really deeply. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in a comfortable position to do so, um, please close your eyes and just, um, just begin by allowing a few breaths in and out and feeling the bottoms of your feet, feeling really rooted and, and grounded with the earth. And we're inviting, acknowledging, appreciating our angels and our spirit guides and spirit animals, star seed, family, friends, and relatives of our highest and best, welcoming them forward and inviting them. Good. And if you allow for me to work with you in your space and your angels and guides, your highest self, you can say either yes out loud or within yourself. Good. We're setting on in. So I really, uh, we're reminding you that all this beautiful resetting of the grounding cord that we've been working with for the last few months, it's literally what I've been noticing lately, it's literally, and it, I, it, just watching it right now, is dropping deeper. Like it's like, like it just dropped even deeper. And remember that grounding cord, the resetting of it uh, from July, and all that energy from July, right? It's all about that resetting of our mother, father, human unconditional love wounding, and re-grounding into that unconditional love of sustenance and of unconditional love with, with the divine, with the earth, right? With, with pure love, with the divine father, divine mother, divine, the divine. So we're just dropping deeper and deeper within. And if you allow this, you can say yes out loud or within yourself. There's so much red surrounding us, orange surrounding us, and all this bloodiness, red and black, very pristine colors of red and black. And supercharging your roots, your deep root, your sacral chakra. Good. And we're activating all of your chakras and your solar plexus all the way up, your chakra column, activating, spinning clean. And just we're releasing any and all energies that no longer serve you, any uh, karma that's complete, that's ready to be balanced. We are completing, we're balancing. Good. Good, and then just breathing into your abdomen and just allowing your life to breathe into you and fresh life and just in and out just in and out good and we're lining you within yourselves to this highest frequency of peace and this peaceful rhythm So that your breath, which is your consciousness, which is you, breathes in the rhythm of peace. And if you allow this, you can say yes. Okay, we're sending Reiki at the crowns of your heads. Good. And all, all the way throughout you, this white golden light, of just pure love and unconditional love from head to toe. Good, it's getting in all, Virgo style, just all the different parts of you on every level, every level, every layer, every part of you, just washing you clean, clearing you. Right, and clearing out your space, and remember that you are space, your infinite space, 
We are infinite space, we're infinite stillness. And then connecting you within yourself to more stillness, the stillness of your being. And connecting you more inward into, into the, the, the truth of who you are. And the truth of who you are is that which we cannot name. So even though we're calling it space, stillness, it's still not it. Your consciousness, your breath, we're talking about it. And so in your highest self knows exactly what we're sharing. So we're tuning you into and connecting you into that which there is no name for. If you allow this, you can say yes. All right, and it's just allowing you to drop deeper in, reminding you that you are safe and it's safe for you to be in your body. Good, so we're opening up your sacral chakra activating it stronger right now, and that energy moving and flowing. We're opening up your hips and balancing into your hips in the highest and best way for you. And then opening up your legs as well and moving and running the energy through your legs and out the rest of your feet. As you connect even deeper and stronger within the earth and your deep root connects into the center of the earth. Good. And then you're just allowing the earth to take from you anything that, anything that no longer serves you. Just allowing the earth to take from you anything that does not serve you. Any dense energies, dense vibrations, energies. Good. And then releasing and re relieving yourself of all guilt and all shame from within you, wherever it comes from and through your DNA. And we're rebooting and up leveling your DNA to that of love and self love and self compassion and to that of you being. Good. And your whole lineage is getting this up leveling as well. Good. And now we're just dropping in deeper to within your body and within your blood, activating the cells of your blood. Right. And then deep into the womb space, your sacral, your root, is deep into this blood, which is really what I keep seeing is gratitude. So the bloodier your experience in human experience, the deeper you have access to gratitude. That is, if you so choose, because it's a choice. Gratitude is just pure love. It's appreciation, gratitude. It's pure love. Good. And we're giving you full permission that no matter what you may have experienced in this lifetime, any lifetimes currently or into your expanded life, into the future, expanded life, that you have full permission to drop into, to be present with all the gratitude and all the gifts of all of it. That's the pleasant, the pleasurable, and the not so pleasant and pleasurable. Good. And we're going to drop in deeper and bloodier here because a lot of times for people, it can be very, can be much 
easier in certain ways to tune into the gratitude and feel the gratitude when things are really like flowing and going well and everyone's kind of kind and loving and everything's just kind of working out and all of that. That's great. That's wonderful. That's a big, that's a big part of getting to be a human and experiencing life here. Yes. And also, there's also a lot of challenges and a lot of grief. And within the grief is where we have access to deep, profound, unlimited amounts of gratitude. And if you allow this, you, you can say yes. We're reminding you that any kind of um, grief is really love. It's truly love disguised. Everything's really love. Good. And so any part of you, we're working into your lungs as well, where any part of you in your lungs is holding on to any grief, any sadness, any sorrow, any grief, anger, rage into your liver and any part of your organs. When you, if you're allowing to do so to release, you then say yes. Good. And we're just cleaning. It's like spinning it clean with this white golden light throughout all parts of you and all of your organs and your blood and your all parts of you. And it's just really rebooting you, rebalancing you, recalibrating you. Good. And then releasing that which, which does not serve you anymore. These denser energies, right? Just releasing straight to the earth. Good. And then allowing for you to, um, to be present with all the love that's available for you. Good. We're bringing the experience of acceptance as well. Acceptance is really one of those major keys to our peace and our freedom. The more you come from a space of acceptance, the freer you feel within yourself, the more at peace you feel within yourself. And peace is one of those highest frequencies of feelings that we experience here is peace. So we're tuning you into that frequency of peace through the experience of acceptance. Ooh, and you can say yes if you allow that. Good, and so acceptance means accepting what was, what wasn't, accepting what is, what isn't, accepting others for who they are, for who they're not in any moment, accepting yourself for who you are, for who you're not in any moment, accepting what you feel in any moment or what you don't feel in any moment. It's acceptance. And acceptance is not complacency. It's not condoning of things that aren't serving you. Acceptance is, is allowing what is, what isn't, okay? And from this space of acceptance, actually there's infinite possibilities. Infinite possibilities exist from this place of acceptance. There's no resistance. And all that fear is, is resistance, right? So from a place of acceptance, acceptance is just, is the opposite. Acceptance is pure love, right? Which pure love is just allowing. And with pure love then, from a space of pure love and pure acceptance, then things are moving and shifting. Right? So from a place of acceptance, actually, you're allowing more of you. You're allowing more of your life force, more of your life to move and to flow. Good, good, good. I'm just breathing on and even deeper into your sacral chakra your blood, bones, guts, 
we're activating even stronger and deeper within your sacral chakra. There's this black onyx, perfect black onyx crystal that is tuning your, your sacral chakra. And that's releasing it and extracting from it any dense energies. A lot of it that I see in, in that area is just is shame, guilt. And shame, guilt, shame is the densest vibration we can hold in our spaces. So the onyx, the Reiki energy, your highest self, your angels and guides as well, are assisting in releasing that which you're ready to, to release of all that shame that's in your womb space. And any and all the shame that you carried of the mother-daughter wound, familial female lineage, this lifetime, all lifetimes, the collective consciousness as well around the the shame and the guilt frequency vibration were releasing. And so just like the blood of cycles, we're allowing you to just shed it like skin and just relieving it to the earth. And whether you've had bleeding cycles or still have bleeding cycles or you don't have bleeding cycles, we're tuning you to the experience, to that, to that experience of allowing your blood, the skin to be shed, all that guilt and all that shame to just be carried from you out of you sent straight to the earth where it belongs and then it acts as fertilizer with the earth and it just gets recycled reformulated and something else new freer up energy outside of yourself and more freed up energy from within you in space and stillness for you to ooh, be even deeper in presence with within yourself and as is pro and you can say yes if you allow this just say yes ah oh, the blood of your heart beats beating i see very oof that is that is bloody and gorgeous it's just like pulsating your heart beating good and it's purifying your blood purifying your actual physical heart and you're also your heart space your heart your connection but really your the organ of your heart is really really pumping itself clear and clean and becoming even more efficient and cleaner efficient working order for you and all of your systems and if you allow this and say yes And also pumping this, it's also I see working really well with your, um, with your sacral chakra as well. Your passion, your pleasure, your joy, your happiness that you generate from within you. It all comes from within that you're generating. So with your new moon intentions, you know, just allowing yourself to be present with what your intentions are for your life, what you desire to feel more of, to experience more of, to experience more of in your life. Right? Just allowing for that to be present right here, right now. And we are sparking, sparking those beautiful desires up with you. Good, 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 good. And we're refining your energetic fields and spaces and alignment so that you may align true to yourself within and becoming even more of this vibrational match to that which your highest hearts desire. And it's all about elevation. And if you allow this and say yes, Good. We're going to tune on in to see how the shedding is going so beautifully. So as it's still continuing 
to flow through you and you're still continuing to shed these layers. And with that, we're bringing gratitude to all that you're shedding and allowing for the earth to. So it's, you're, you're meeting that shedding, that movement with gratitude for all that it served you, for all, all every experience you've experienced, right? The pleasurable, the not so pleasurable, the happy euphoric list out, elated, and the not so, or the grief. And accepting all of it. And the more that you accept the all of it, then the more you accept all of you. The more you accept others, the more you accept you. And remember that acceptance is just pure love. And so we're allowing this beautiful ceremony of just being in total reverence and gratitude to your entire life. The seemingly past, the seemingly other lifetimes, the seemingly future, seemingly future lifetimes, right? But all of it we know, truly all of it is now. There is really, truly only now. And so what we are giving, we are giving um, we're bringing gratitude to all of your life force. And if you allow this, you can say yes. And appreciation. And that which you appreciate, appreciates even more. So bringing appreciation into all of your life allows for you to be open to even more. From a place of not needing more from a place of being and being fully aligned and fully present and content with each moment, acceptance of each moment. The more you accept each moment, each moment, each moment, the more you accept you. Because all there is is now and you are now and life is now. And accepting now is you accepting you, accepting all of life. Acceptance is love. And this is where peace exists. And again, we're aligning you even deeper to that frequency of peace. And with peace, elevated in peace is appreciation is gratitude. And from that place, again, in that place, with and of that place, of that space, it's really, it's really what it's all about, what we're all like seeking, so to say, like trying to get to, so to say, right, is this contentment of now. And from this space, again, we're opening to that which you desire, align with your highest heart, the clearest path, the most aligned path for you from a place of peace, from a place of appreciation, from a place of love, allowing and acceptance for you to match that of your highest heart's desires and be of that flow. Good. And so just allowing a few more breaths into your abdomen, into your heart space. Good. Breathing and expanding through your lungs. Your lungs are even more expanded now. There's more space. We like cleared more of that energy out. Good. And then we're also moving into your outer layer chakras and your force field, your auric field, and lightening all of that up. 
grounding, 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 and rooting at your feet. Good, connecting you within. We're gonna allow three slow, graceful breaths in and out. In and out. At your own pace. Uh, dropping into the deeper rhythm and flow of your internal peace, your internal now. Your internal gratitude and appreciation for all of life. Uh, relaxing your roots, cleansing and purifying your roots and connecting you deep into your roots, strong foundation, and feeling safe and secure from within. Reminding you that you are safe and it's safe for you to be in of your body and to be present and present now. Good. And whenever you feel called and whenever you're ready, you can slowly begin moving your hands and your feet, bring your awareness into the space wherever you are and taking your time whenever you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes or continue to rest. Thank you, Janet. That was very powerful and very deep. Mm. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, everybody. Uh, would you uh, want to share with us real quick what's happening in Soulmate of Self this month for the ladies who want to continue working with you? Mm. continue this depth and this joyful space that you brought us to mm. <laughs> this month in the year of the goddess we are actually working with an archangel this month archangel ariel and ariel is the archangel of nature and she is um the archangel of bringing comfort and of also bringing courage, boldness and courage into our lives. And she is the archangel of our prosperity, of our resources, of the natural earth's resources, of the animals, the animal kingdoms, the birds. And so it's all about being connected and present with our ultimate selves in the here and the now. Tuned and connected with nature, we are nature. Tuned and connected with our mother, which is Mother Gaia, our earth, right? And being a part of all the flow, the divine perfect orchestration of nature, right? And that we tune into that and that becomes, we tune into the frequency of the perfect working order of the earth, the heartbeat of the earth. Right? No matter what other humans or the world around us is, is getting themselves into and experiencing, right? We, still, we have full permission to tune into that, whichever we so choose. Everybody does. And so this month is about tuning into the heartbeat of the earth with Archangel Ariel. And we will continue to be working from that space as well. So Ooh. I've been having so many incredible incredible experiences with birds over the last few days, even just today. I mean, outstanding since Archangel, the day Archangel Ariel came on in. Like, wow. So. That's really interesting um, too, because I was writing the blog post for next week and a lot of the symbols are uh, growing our wings. Mm. Yeah. So that we can fly. <sighs> oh. Fly into our bigger pictures, fly into our dreams, fly into the meaning of your life, like which, and then being in sync and harmony with the 
heartbeat of Mother Earth in frequency that is divine right order because we are in divine right order as well. Abs exactly. And it's bringing it here onto the earth plane. So yes. it's, it's like that expansion of the wings and being in that divine working order and living life in our physical form and the physical manifestations of our highest heart's desires and physical form here on the earth plane. Cause that's what we, why else did we come here to be a human? <laughs> we came here to experience the physical form on the three dimensional earth plane while remembering the truth of who we are and tuned in, tapped into 5DR and beyond while simultaneously, you know, engaging in the riches of this planet here on the earth plane. So, yes, I, I feel like from you sharing that, it was like, Rawr, my wings just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just love uh, the frequency Janet is tuned into because as she's sharing, I'm like, oh, she's talking this frequency of, of my way of translating it is like, that's Uranus and Taurus talking about the earth and waking up and getting into this flow and wow, and the Virgo and the health and the wellness and uh, bringing it deeper into the body so that we can clear that beautiful space. I love when you said, the, let the energy come all in Virgo style. So it gets in the corners, gets in there, and then we're clearing and cleansing. And through, like my experience through where you created the space for us today, I was like, I've been breathing wrong all along. I can breathe in a whole new goddess way, which is cat-cow. What am I doing? I'm not breathing cat-cow while I'm sitting. Oh, I can breathe cat-cow. And you know, just that rock in the pelvis. The breathing cat cow will change your entire oh, life. <laughs> if you breathe cat cow every day, <laughs> and even just tuning in a cat cow multiple times a day, not even like, I mean, number one, you'll automatically really begin breathing that way. The more you do it consistently, the more we do, right? We relearn that patterning or whatever, and that'll, that'll do it. That'll <laughs> change the breath. <laughs> totally. I was like, oh my God, I'm breathing backwards. I'm not even breathing like in physical form. <laughs> you know? But that was when we cleared, you helped us clear that space of shame and guilt and get back in the body. Once I was in the body, I realized I am not even breathing correctly. And That's body 101, breathing. <laughs> and this is the, the thing with those humans that make everything so <laughs> complex. And it's like, burr, burr, burr. I forgot and I forgot this and really all it it's just like Reiki when I first started remembering about Reiki and was like what it comes through our hands <laughs> I remember I think I was 30 when I first like really got the memo and I could yeah. not stop talking about it for two years straight anyone that would have a conversation with me oh they, we were gonna have a Reiki conversation <laughs> friends hanging out we were gonna talk about Reiki I was like did you know this that it comes through our hands it's that simple like did you like how am I just getting this memo, right? I mean, it's that simple. And so same with the breath. It's just like, it's that simple. We change the way that we breathe. Our breath is who we are. Like we change the way that we breathe. Yeah. Breathe like it now. now. The breath brings us immediately into the now. There is no past. There is no future. There is no fear in the, those places, resistances, breath, there is, no. Do a cat cow breath or any other kind of breath breath work that aligns best for you, right? You're you're in the now. <laughs> yeah, congratulations! You are in the now. You're in the now, and that's what we're all like <laughs> dropping into. It's like oh, I mean, the more and more, even more and more lately, I'm like oh, oh gosh, <laughs> I know, right? Totally, it's like cool. <laughs> Yeah, mind blown. Like, oh, like oh, human, you know? Yeah, human stuff. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So thank you, Janet, for these downloads and these clearings and these like ways to refine uh, where we're at right now. And so we're gonna take this energy for the rest of the lunar cycle, but definitely it's in play till Friday night. So really like harness it, feel it, get it in like 24 seven in and out, in and out and condition your space 
around you, condition the space within you, because Janet said we're space. But we're more than that. We don't even have words yet for what it really is. Consciousness, breath, love, light, all of it. So uh, we're going to post Janet's Soulmate of Self link so you can go and find out more. I want everybody to join Soulmate of Self because we take all this Lunar Lady insight and we take it, we drop in deeper. So thank you, Janet, for creating Soulmate of Self. Thank you for knowing and mastering how to tune in to these vibrations and taking our experiences the next step deeper. I love it. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you, <laughs> Shannon. Thank you, everybody. And remember, too, if you listen to this recording, the session multiple times, you'll receive it in deeper <sighs> ways every time you receive receive the, this session it's programmed that way so there's no such thing as tom so mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and the more you listen the deeper and better and more embodied and full-bodied you can experience and you don't and it's limitless you don't have any edges to that so i'm gonna do it <laughs> All right. Thank you, Janet. Thank you for another wonderful crescent moon activation. I love you so much. And thank you for blessing us with your gifts. Thank you. I love you too. And everybody, you're so welcome. Thank you for the comments here. Thank you so much for being here as always. And I will see you next month. Yeah. Crescent moon and Sagittarius. She's going to take us on the magic carpet ride. Yes, and then you'll be with us and Soulmate of Self. Yes, I, I pop in and Soulmate of Self in the balsamic moon phase, the ending of the lunar cycle, and I wrap it up and put a little bow on it for you. It's really fun. That's Shannon's moon time. That's my moon time. I can't wait. Yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, sister. You. Thank you, everyone, for watching and being part of the circle and adding your light and love and making this possible. Thank you. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Bye.